This is my hybrid e-bike. It's an electric bike with a petrol generator attached to it. Why, you might be wondering. Why not? So this whole crazy project started a good few weeks ago now um, and it all started with Buy Best Gear offering to send me this Enway M20 which is actually the dual battery model and because of that I kind of thought hang on this would be quite interesting I wonder if I can replace one of the batteries with a petrol generator because it's got quite a clever split charge system normally there's a second battery on here right where I've put a thousand watt electric generator but even though this bike has a petrol generator on it it's still classed as an e-bike it's limited to 15 and a half mile an hour it's got pedal assist and it's only 250 watts so there has been a fair bit of trial and error with this, although I've only been using this generator, I haven't used any other generator, and this generator has actually turned out to be pretty good. So it's from Sealy, and it can handle a maximum of about 1,000 watts, um, and it's also very, very light. It's one of the smallest generators I could actually find, um, and obviously this is generating mains voltage, so you can see the plug here. And the next bit was really the big experiment, because we needed to get the 230 volts down to around 48 volts to power with this bike and that is what you see here so this is just the mains power supply that outputs about 48 volts um, and the current is quite low as well it's around 8 amps or so something like that so that works out at about 400 watts required from this generator and even though the generator kicks out 400 watts the controller on the bike is still standard so it's only going to request 250 watts um, just like any other normal bike would and what this means is when the e-bike battery goes flat the generator and this bike will sustain itself fully on petrol power it's actually really nostalgic the way it's like regulating itself you can hear the rpm of the generator kind of going up and down as the bike controller requests more power from it it's actually quite a clever thing And of course, if you don't want to scare with the wildlife, you can just dip into electric power. Got some kind of weird Prius spike type thing. I do like the motorbike element though. range is going to be so insane with petrol i need to test it because i mean it's literally I've, i haven't put any more petrol in this since the first experiment and it's just gone on for i don't know how many miles but it's a long way So anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this wacky experiment. If you want to know more about this bike, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to obviously let you know. This bike is available from Buy Best Gear as well. It's a really brilliant e-bike actually, um, without the engine <laughs> and all the craziness on it. Um, it's a really good bike. You know, it's dual suspension. There's a nice rear shock here rear swing arm and um, you've got these nice funky lights on the front as well it just gives it a really tough look the other thing i like about it is th are these handlebars as well the handlebars are really nice they complement the bike really well and it's and it's a good seating position for me as well even though i'm like six foot something um yeah you know i'm, I'm actually finding this quite comfortable to ride that's the hover x1 by the way that's what does all the drone shots in this video so yeah that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you next time